my name is Al Ackerman and welcome to the channel. If you like card magic, you're in the right place. If you love sleight of hand, make sure you click on subscribe. Now today I'm going to do a fun little prediction effect with two decks of cards. And it's got a real surprise twist at the end. Let's take a look. Okay, even. I'm going to shuffle these cards up. I'm going to do something with two decks of cards. I'm going to use two cards. One red and one blue. Any place you like, say the word stop. Stop. Right there. Yep. Okay, what we're going to do is take this card, and this is going to be a prediction card. I'm already not even going to look at it for the time being, but I don't want to uh, change my mind, so I am going to autograph this card. So I can't change my mind. Mm -hmm. All right. So that card's for me. One red card for me. Now I'm going to give you about uh, half of this blue deck. All right? Half the blue deck. And uh, what I want you to do, in a moment I'm going to have you select a card from this half of the deck. Mm -hmm. But I haven't even peeked at what my prediction card is, so I don't even know what it is. So I'm just going to take a quick look. Okay? I know what it is. Can't change my mind. I got my autograph on that card. Now, here's what I want you to do from this deck. I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle these up, mix them up a little bit. And what I'd like you to do from this deck is I would like you to pull one card out of the deck about halfway. Just reach in, pull out one right. card halfway from that deck. Any one you want. Right. Now, the reason I'm just going to say halfway is I'm going to give you the option to change your mind if you want. You can shove it back in or you're good. Okay. You're good. All right, so this is the card that you wanted from this half. What I'd like you to do is to autograph your card, that right. four of diamonds. Mm -hmm. So we've each signed a card. You're signing a card from the uh, blue deck, and I signed a card from the red deck, which you don't know what it is yet, but guess what? I did pretty good. We got a match. Wow. I got the four of diamonds. That's a perfect prediction. Well, almost perfect. I don't have your initials on it. So watch your initials. I'm just going to stroke it one, two, three times. And your initials fly off that blue back card and land right here on my red back card. That's for you, Eben. Collect another 51. You got your own deck. Wow. Hey, if you like the effect, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Now, I became acquainted with the signature transposition somewhere around 1968. Uh, I used to have a session with Ed Marlowe every Saturday at the Three Bears restaurant right across the street from Magic Incorporated in Chicago. And for about three, four weeks straight, Ed must have showed me six different versions of where you had two spectators sign two different cards. And the cards didn't change place, but the signatures transposed. And I never liked the effect because I got very, very confused. I always could say who signed what, and I wasn't sure if anything really happened. And that can happen with almost any transposition, whether it's a card transposition or a coin transposition. You really have to uh, make sure it's really clear who has what. Well, anyway, somewhere early 90s, John Bannon published a trick called Tattoo You. And it was just one signature jumping from a red card to a blue card. And I thought that really wasn't confusing. You kind of keep track of it. So I started to do the uh, routine. It did use a gaff card. And one day at the Wednesday Night Magic Club, somebody said, hey, I'll do that trick uh, where the signature jumps from one card to the other. And I didn't have the gaffes, so I went home and I worked this version out. So it has no gaffes. All you need is a deck with a joker. Only negative on the routine is you do wreck one card. I published it in my 1996 lecture notes called Al Card Poem. I called it the Impromptu Tattoo You. Anyway, if you like the effect, you like the material, make sure you click on that subscribe button. And if you want to see another off-the-wall transposition, it's a version of the hotel mystery that I worked out in the mid-1970s. Click on that link right over there. My name's Al Ackerman, and I hope to see you the next time.